Hey, you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Do you love the Tennessee Titans if you're like, me? Yeah. Then you, hit that subscribe button right now. Let's get to 3,000 subscribers on this channel. There's been some murmurs back there in the chat sports studios that there's not enough fans around here and that we might have to stop making some videos. Come on, man. I know you love the Titans. Hit that sub button. What's going on? It's Mitchell Renz from Chat Sports, and I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready to get wild today. And I'm talking about the type of wild when you fall asleep, you wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning, and there's just a bunch of whole girls gone wild. Now, I'm not going to bleep anything out. I'm going to show you everything I got. And what do I got? Five blockbuster trade ideas for the Tennessee Titans. I know, I got your attention now. But before I get into the Titans players that I think that they could go out and get big name guys, let's have a little bit of fun here. Let's do some trivia, and at the end of today's show, I am going to give you the answer to this. But you know what? You can't cheat. I hate cheaters, and that could be another TV show that we could do a spinoff on here. No Googling, no looking it up on Bing, Ask Jeeves, whatever you're looking at. No, none of that. Go down to the comment section right now. What year was the team's first season as the Tennessee Titans? Don't cheat. Let me know, and at the end of today's show, I'm going to go ahead and give you the answer. All right, guys, so we're going to get it now to five big-name players that the Titans could potentially go out and trade for him. The first thing that's going to come up here is Kyler Murray, and you're going to be like, wait a minute, Mitch. There is no way the Titans trade for Kyler Murray. You know what I would say to that? Have you even seen this offseason with Russell Wilson, Devontae Adams, Matt Ryan? The amount of there's no way insert player name here has happened already. There's no way Tom Brady comes out of retirement. Guess what? This offseason has been bananas, B-A-N-A-N-A-S. I don't even know if I spelled it right. But when you look at Ky Kyler Murray's numbers in 2021, the season definitely had a tale of two tapes. His first eight games, the Cardinals, they're rocking and rolling. 72.7% completion percentage, 2,276 yards, 147 rushing yards, 20 total touchdowns, 7 total turnovers. I actually probably said multiple times on chat sports shows, he's probably your leading vote getter right now for the NFL MVP. Then DeAndre Hopkins gets banged up. They lose a few other players on the offensive side of the football, and Kyler started thinking at, after that 2-5 and five record, shit, maybe I should have started just gone to the A's and played a little bit of baseball. 64.1% completion percentage, 1,648 yards, 9 touchdowns, but the 5 total turnovers. So the last time you saw Kyler Murray play, wasn't all that great and there's been some rumors that he wants a pay raise maybe Arizona's like all right we're just gonna say no to that and I know there's a lot of people out there like well I st we still have Ryan Tannehill and you're right the Titans have Ryan Tannehill what concerns me is this Ryan Tannehill also showed last season if you don't have King Henry you're at best an average quarterback Hopefully, Derrick Henry's able to play the entire season this year. And hopefully, A.J. Brown's out there. Hopefully, Robert Woods is healthy. You were able to go out and add Austin Hooper. And who knows? Maybe you go out and add another wide receiver. You need to build around Ryan Tannehill. But let's face it, you put Kyler Murray on this team, and I think they're no doubt the best team in the division. So let's get wild here. I told you. Right? Taking it off, off the top, the Cardinals receive... A first-round pick in 2022, so the 26th overall. And in 2023, you get the 90th overall pick this season and then a second-round pick next year. The Tennessee Titans, they get Kyler Murray. Now, some of you are like, well, what does that mean for Ryan Tannehill? Then you also have to go ahead and find another home for Tannehill, which, sure, you might not get nearly as much from him. Who knows? Maybe you could figure out a way to trade Tannehill over to Arizona. Don't think he fits exactly what they're looking for in that offense. But if you think this is a lot, that's what quarterbacks are going for. I mean, look at what Deshaun Watts and Russell Wilson just went for. So when you look at some of the highest-paid quarterbacks, you also have to consider if you're going to go out and trade for Murray. He wants a new payday. You're going to have to probably pay him somewhere in the Deshaun Watson, Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen. I, I would make the argument you might even have to go ahead and pay him more than what the Rams gave Matthew Stafford. So knowing all of that, knowing all the draft capital, knowing how much money you got to go ahead and spend, do you want the Titans to go out 
and trade for Kyler Murray. Go down in the comment section right now and type that Y for yes, or you can go ahead and type your N for no. The next player coming up here is maybe not as big of a name as Murray, but you know what? A realistic name, and I would almost go ahead and say, I would say a 50% chance James Bradbury does not play for the New York Giants this upcoming season. And when you look at the past two seasons for Bradbury, before he came over to New York, he was one of the best cornerbacks in the league. And in 2020, I thought he had a good season last year, had a little bit of a regression in terms of overall statistics. But Bradbury in 2020 underneath Patrick Graham, he allowed only 587 yards, only four touchdowns. Last season, 848 yards, eight touchdowns. And I'll also go ahead and say that some of these numbers are a little bit skewed for the simple fact of the Giants offense was so bad that the Giants defense was on the field all the damn time. And Bradbury and that entire team, they did lock it down when they got into the red zone. So I still think Bradbury's a top 15 corner. And for the Titans, after letting go of the Jackrabbit, Bradbury, I think, would fit perfectly for what you're trying to do. So what I want you to do is do this right now. Name a player you want the Titans to go out and trade for. And again, this is the offseason that anything's possible. Like, literally anything. And if I did a show about every single player that you could trade for, I'd be here probably until tomorrow. I don't have that much time on my hands, and I don't think you guys want to watch that. These shows are built on you guys going down to the comments and letting me know what you're thinking. So name a player you want the Titans to go out and trade for. In terms of how much trade compensation it would be, there's been some rumors out there that apparently the Giants initially wanted a fifth-round pick. Hasn't come through yet. And the other thing you're going to do is if you're going to go out and trade for Bradbury, you also have to pay him, and he's going to make $13.4 million if a trade ends up going down. So the Titans are taking on 134 the Giants aren't going to get a lot in return, so a 2022 six-round pick. The next player coming up here is going to light up the screen a little bit. It's D.K. Metcalf. I don't know about y'all. Every time I say D.K., it takes me back to my childhood days playing D.K. Donkey Kong, taking on a whole bunch of different kind of bosses, though I was always a bigger fan of Diddy Kong. I'm not going to lie. However, D.K. looks more like Donkey Kong than Diddy Kong. This guy is just a full-grown man and he's only 24 years old i don't know if you've seen his diet regimen he eats one meal a day a cup of coffee three bags of candy i wish i could eat three bags of candy and have the eight pack that dk metcalf has but you know what it's working for him 29 total touchdowns in his three-year career i know there's been a lot of rumors out there that oh the seahawks want to keep him they also said that they were going to keep russell wilson and well, he's on the Broncos now. So this is another deal that I don't think it's that crazy it could end up going down. So, Mitch, where exactly would he fit? And I'm glad you asked, Titans fans, because you got A.J. Brown. You got Robert Woods. No disrespect to Westbrook, but, you know, where exactly are you going to put him? You might be able to throw A.J. Brown into the slot. Who knows? Maybe Robert Woods can go in the slot. But I do know this. Sometimes the best thing that can help out a good running game is having a vertical wide receiver. DK Metcalf is a vertical wide receiver that could really stretch it out and uh, take a little bit of pressure off of a guy named Derrick Henry. So let's get wild here. Here's the trade that I think it would end up taking to get DK in Tennessee. The Seahawks, they get the first round pick, 26 overall. Third round pick, 90 overall. And then a second round pick in 2023. The Tennessee Titans... They get DK Metcalf and a 2022 fifth round pick, 152 overall. If you see any of these trades and you like any of these deals, hey, go ahead, take a screenshot, post them on your social media. And if a big time deal goes down, we're going to be making a video about it. So hit that subscribe button, smash it right now. You know what I'm talking about. Really just smash it. Get in there with your fingers and smash that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications. That way you don't miss a thing. The next player coming up here on our superstar trade targets for the Tennessee Titans, Debo Samuel. And when you talk about a player like Samuel, you got to talk about the versatility that he's going to end up being able to bring to the offense. And the reason why we're talking about him is because he has unfollowed every single 49ers player and the organization itself on social media. And we live in a world where, believe it or not, that stuff I do actually think matters. Last season, between the tackles, remember, 
This guy is a wide receiver. He carried the ball 56 times at 365 yards, eight touchdowns on the ground. And when you consider the fact that the backup running back for King Henry, who's coming off an injured season, is Dontrell Hilliard, all I'm saying is this. One of your second running back was Debo Samuel, and you also had him as one of your top wide receiver options out there because he also had 77 grabs, 1,400 yards, six touchdowns. You could have made the argument that he played as a top five top three receiver last season. He did it all for the San Francisco 49ers. So here's my trade, and I know it's a lot, but when you have a player who's going to be able to help you run the football, and sure, you don't want to take Derrick Henry off the field, but what happens if you said, okay, instead of giving King Henry 30, 25 carries a game, you gave him 25 to 20, and then you gave those other five carries to Debo, just got him involved a little bit more. Yes, you're going to be ended up giving up a lot, but when I see that Devontae Adams went for a one and a two, Tyreek Hill went for more, and if I'm Debo, I'm like, okay, I also want to be paid. So if the Titans want to go ahead and make it happen, it is going to cost a lot. So which wide receiver would you rather go out and trade for? Is it Debo Samuel? Go ahead and type DS down in the comment section. Or if you'd rather have DK Metcalf, go ahead and type DK. The final player that we're going to bring up here on our trade targets video is Devin Bush, the linebacker from Pittsburgh. In today's NFL, you need to have some speed. And sure, when he first came out of Michigan, he definitely had some knocks on him being a little bit undersized. But you know what? His versatility being able to go sideline to sideline, cover some of these tight ends and either other wide receivers, especially if you decide to go in a dime or nickel package, that's going to help you out a lot. Missed 2020 with an injury and didn't have as many stats, I'll say, as what you were probably hoping for after his rookie season. But this is one thing that I do know. You have solid outside linebackers already for the Titans and Harold Landry and Bud Dupree, but they're also more of edge rushers. Zach Cunningham's a tackling machine. David Long Jr. is solid, but if you can go out and upgrade and find another player who can be a little bit more of a coverage linebacker, which Devin Bush can help you do because of his speed, that is something that this Titans defense is lacking. So here's my idea, and this one you don't have to get too wild for. Do you give the Pittsburgh Steelers a fifth-round pick 169 overall, and you say, okay, we're going to take Devin Bush off your hands. So at the beginning of today's show, I asked you guys, remember? Do you remember? What year was the team's first season as the Tennessee Titans? And I can actually remember this very clearly because I had a video game. Eddie George was one of my favorite running backs back at the time, and I went to elementary school with one of my really, really good friends, and he was a Titans fan. And the answer is... 1999 I was six years old when that happened if you guys want to let me know how old you were when that happened hey I think that'd be pretty cool but all we're trying to do here guys is not only provide you with news rumors we're gonna add a little bit of spice to this offseason as well so hopefully if you made it this far in the video we're doing something halfway decent around here so before you go please hit that subscribe button and if you are one of our loyal watchers take that link that you see below and send it to a friend